Shock waves rumbled through the aerospace industry late Tuesday when United Continental CEO Jeff Smysek announced his departure amid a continuing investigation into the airline's relationship with the former head of the New York, New Jersey Port Authority. Wall Street Journal reporter Ted Mann joins us now with more details. Hi, Ted. So we know this investigation has been ongoing for a while, but didn't Smysek's departure take a lot of people by surprise? It certainly was a surprise, even to people who've been following the investigation fairly closely. Closely. The airline had long been disclosing that they were cooperating with a federal investigation into the relationship with David Sampson, who was the former chairman of the Port Authority. But the fact that it would suddenly take down three executives at the airline was, was definitely a major surprise. Three executives. And of course, do we have any further details surrounding his departure? Um, what we know is what the airline disclosed yesterday in announcing the departure. Um, and they did specifically tie it to their own internal investigation and the federal investigation of what was going on with Mr. Sampson. Yeah, we know this story has several chapters to it, including the particular investigation into a flight route, one particular flight route. Can you tell us about that? We know that one of the things that prosecutors have been asking about is uh, why exactly United restarted a flight that had previously been canceled between Newark Airport, one of the airports that's controlled by the Port Authority, and an airport in Columbia, South Carolina, which is near where Mr. Sampson maintains a vacation home. And that's a flight that was not heavily traveled um, and would have been very convenient for Mr. Sampson. So one of the questions that they're looking at is whether this was something that was done at his behest or to you know, and it, hap it did happen to coincide with negotiations? With yeah, the all along, um, during really the entire time Mr. Sampson was at the Port Authority, United has been very unhappy with the amount of money they pay to use Newark, which is their big hub in the New York City area. So they wanted a deal on the amount they were paying for their major airport. And the question that prosecutors are looking into is whether they gave the chairman something in order to try to get a deal. And David Sampson was also a central figure in the Washington Bridge Lane closure scandal that was linked to Chris Christie. What's his connection there exactly? The connection there is, first of all, the governor. Uh, he's, mm -hmm. He was an appointee of Chris Christie and is very close to him, as were the people who uh, engineered the lane closures. Mr. Sampson has never been tied to directing the lane closures, but he was involved, we now have seen from the documents that came out afterward, in figuring out how to handle the scandal as it started to blow up on them after the fact. And of course, Mr. Sampson has not commented on any of this yet. In the very early going, when he was still the chairman, he defended his tenured in general right. terms, but he's not talking about any of this. And now, do we know what kind of severance package Smysec is walking away with and whether there's a clawback provision there? It, it, it is a, a generous severance. Um, it's around $5 million with a, a number of different terms. And there is language in there that is similar to other language you would see in, in a severance, but that does allow United to claw back some or all of it if he pleads guilty to a felony or is otherwise sort of uh, implicated in wrongdoing here. All but right. we don't know how specific that is to the events here or if that's just standard language for them. Certainly. We'll have to wait and see what develops here. Ted Mann, thank you so much for that.